Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create three redstone fireplace designs for Bedrock Edition. Now you might be saying, well why would I need a redstone fireplace? I mean, here's my fireplace, here's netherrack, here's my flint and steel. Boom, it's done, I don't have to worry about any messy redstone, it's nice and clean. I mean, here's my wall, here's my chimney, here's my backyard, I don't have to worry about redstone being all over the place. And I mean, yeah, yeah you could do that, but I mean, come on, this is just... This is a little boring in my opinion. So let's go ahead and take a look at design number one. If we move over to the right, we have design number one, which looks just like this over here, except of course we do have the dispenser and a lever. So if we flip it, that will activate our fireplace. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the back here. Notice we don't have any redstone exposed. Everything is underground, so you can still have your clean design for your build. And of course to turn it off, all we need to do is flip our lever once again. And there we go. Moving on to design number two, what we have here is the two wide fireplace. So this was the one wide, and then right here we have the two wide, and notice I did change the build slightly, so we have iron bars up front, we have the lever off to the side, and we can do that here too, I just wanted to show the variation. So this works the same, all we do is flip our lever, that will start our fireplace up, and again, no redstone is exposed, so if we take a look around here, there's our backyard once again, this would be our chimney. And then, of course, to shut it off, all we need to do is flip our lever once again. And there we go. That is design number two. Now, for those of you who don't want the dispensers to show, I do have design number three, and you may like this one. The only thing about this is that it only comes in the one wide design, so I don't have a two wide version for this, at least not yet. So, this looks like the very first one that I showed you down there, where we're just using flint and steel, except we have a lever. So let's go ahead and flip it. Our blocks will swap, there's our dispenser, that will light our fireplace, and again, going around to the backyard here, we have no redstone exposed, so that's always a good thing. And then to turn it off, all we do is flip this once again, that goes out, and then the block swaps back to whatever building block we had in the back of our fireplace. Now that I've showcased all three designs, let's go ahead and take a look at how to make them. Before we jump into any of our building, I just want to make note that all three designs will be three blocks high. So what I mean by that is that if we are building on this level right here, like we will be in just a minute, our floor will be one, two, three blocks up right there. So all three designs will be three blocks high when it comes to the floor level. I just wanted to make note of that. Now let's go ahead and jump into our build. For design number one, you will need a three by three area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all of our supplies for design number one. This one is very easy to make and very quick. So if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Grab your supplies and then we'll jump right into this build. To build this, what we want to do is grab our two sticky pistons and right in the center here, place a sticky piston facing up and one right behind it. On this back sticky piston, go ahead and place a redstone block. And on the front one, go ahead and place down your nether rack. Now what we're going to do, let me just grab some colored blocks here. We're going to go ahead and build this little L shape just like that. Go ahead and place redstone dust here. Repeater running this direction, set to one tick. Redstone dust, redstone dust there, and then we want redstone dust running down. Now on this side, what we're going to do is place out a redstone torch. So that's going to extend. So that is all the redstone done, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and place a lever right here. We're going to flip it. So this is going to come up, this will activate our dispenser, which will be right there. And let's go ahead and throw in our flint and steel. So that is done, now let's go ahead and take the power away. So there is our mechanic for putting the fire out, and then let's go ahead and flip it again. This is going to extend the redstone block up, activating our dispenser here, and then lighting our netherrack on fire. And as you just saw, once we flip it again, that retracts, and then we get a quick little pump right here from our sticky piston to put out our fire. So that is the redstone for design number one. Now all we need to do is decorate it. Before we continue on, I do want to explain the redstone mechanics behind this, because the redstone mechanics will be the same for all three designs. Now the redstone will vary, as you will see later on down the road, but they will all follow the same formula. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now we do have this piston that is extended with our nether rack, and that is due... To this redstone torch right here. Now when we flip it on, it stays extended but the redstone torch did shut off but because we have this instant power going down this redstone line here with this block, that is keeping this powered. Now 
when we flip it off. That is when this piston retracts and then quickly goes back up. So I do want to explain that part. So remember, we do have a tick of delay right here with this repeater. And then this resonant torch also gives us another tick of delay. So when we flip our lever up, that gives us a split second that all of this resonant will be shut off, causing this to retract. And then, of course, after that split second, this powers back on and then extends the piston back up. So hopefully we can get a good angle or a good view of that. That split second that it's off. So that is the mechanics behind all three designs. Now let's go ahead and continue on with our builds. The decorating part is totally up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and do a basic design so you get an idea of what the layout should look like. So this is going to be the fireplace right here. This is going to be the floor. Come up like that, and let's say we use an upside down stair. So very basic, but you get the idea. And then, of course, let's go ahead and place our floor around. Now in the models, I have wood right here. Don't do that because I've caught this on fire plenty of times trying to demo it. So I'm not quite sure what this fire spread is or the distance on that. But for sure, if you use wood right here, it will catch on fire at some point. So that is done. Let's go ahead and place our lever up top right here. And then that works. And what you saw in design number two, we can remove that lever. Let's place redstone here. Just like that. And then we can place that right there. And then if we want to do this... That works as well. So there we go. That is design number one. Let's move on to design number two. For design number two, we will need a 4x4 area. And let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. There we go. There are all the supplies we'll need for this design. Now notice we did swap out the redstone block for a couple observers. We do have a couple more sticky pistons. And because this is too wide, we will double the dispensers, the nether rack, and then the flint and steel. But for the most part, everything has stayed the same except for a few more bits of redstone dust. Now let's go ahead and build this. For this design, let's go ahead and grab our sticky pistons. And on these two middle blocks right here, go ahead and place two sticky pistons facing up. We want to skip a block. And on these back middle blocks here, go ahead and place two more sticky pistons facing up. Now go ahead and grab your observers. And on these back ones, place observers facing up. So we should have the arrows pointing up just like that. And on the front two, we're going to place our nether rack. Now once again, we're going to make our L shape, so we want to come in between our pistons here and off to the side, and let's make our L, just like that. And down below, we want to place redstone dust right here, so we should see them connect between the pistons like that. We'll run a redstone line up right here, and on this block, go ahead and run a repeater facing in this direction, and leave that set to one tick. Now we want to run that repeater into a block, and then we want our redstone torch to be on the outside. Now down below, we want two pieces of redstone dust right here and right there. And that will cause our pistons with another rack to extend. It doesn't look like it, but you can see it is extended. Now what we want to do, let's place a lever right here. We want to try that out. So these are extended. And what we want to do now is place blocks right here. So in your build, this will be the bottom of your chimney. And then let's place our dispensers here. Flint and steel, flint and steel. So when our observers come up, they will power that block and then power our dispensers. So let's go ahead and try it. Fireplace is on. And then fireplace is off. Once you finish decorating your fireplace, it should look a little something like this. So we have our floor. We have our fireplace. I wired it up off to the side again. We have our wall. And as I mentioned, these blocks back here will be the bottom of our chimney. So that is design number two. Now let's go ahead and move on to our final design. For today's final design, we'll need a 5x4 area. And let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. There we go. There are the supplies for design number three. Now this will be a little bit more costly because we are making a block swapper. But it's not too much more expensive. So we do have three observers, two regular pistons, two sticky pistons. And as far as this redstone lamp is concerned, it doesn't have to be a redstone lamp. We just need a block that can be detected by the observer. So you can use a dropper or dispenser. I went for the redstone lamp because it is quiet. Now let's go ahead and jump into this last design. For this design, what we want to do is build our block swapper first. So the block swapper I'm going to use was showcased by the Bowtie Man in one of his more recent videos. So I will post a link to that video in the description below. But let's go ahead and get started. We want to come down the middle here, three blocks back. Go ahead and place a temporary block right there. 
sticky piston facing up. Now whatever block you're going to use for your fireplace, go ahead and place that block right there right now, just so we don't get any confusion later on down the road. Now what we want to do is place temporary blocks out like this, two coming out from the center. Grab your piston, piston facing in, piston facing in, and on this one, go ahead and place down your dispenser. Now we can go ahead and knock these blocks out right here. So your setup should look like this so far. Now go ahead and place two blocks down like that. One block here, a block up, right down the center, lined up with our piston right there. Skip a block, two blocks right there like that. Redstone dust here, redstone dust along our L, and then we want a redstone torch right there, and that will cause this piston to extend. Now what we're going to do is grab our observer, swing around to the side here, and place our observer right against that redstone torch so it will detect that when it changes state. Block right there, grab your repeater, and then throw down your repeater facing out and set that to 4 ticks. Now we want to run that repeater into a block right here and then a redstone torch right there. So that is our block swapper done. Now if we give it a test, we have ourselves a working block swapper. Now that the block swapper is done, the rest of this build will be super easy. So all we need to do now is set up our piston with our nether rack. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I will ask you to remove this block right here like that because this is where we want our redstone lamp to be or our dropper or dispenser, whatever you chose to use. And we can go ahead and put that back. So just so you can see if the block swapper still works. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is grab a sticky piston and right in this gap, place down your sticky piston facing up. So it should be right on the ground right there. One block below this one. And let's place our nether rack down. Right there. So it should look like this. Now what we're gonna do is place a redstone torch right down there, and that will cause that to extend. Go ahead and grab your observer once again. Place your observer against that redstone lamp because that will be detecting that change. Redstone torch on the back of the observer right there. And then we want redstone dust right there. So, believe it or not, that is that circuit all wired up. Like I said, it is very easy. And let's go ahead and place in our flint and steel into our dispenser here so we can look at it in action. So again, we do have our off circuit and notice that the blocks did swap to what our fireplace would be. So we flip it. Oh, we did forget one part. So for this redstone torch, what we want to do is put an observer facing up just like that. And then a block right here. So that will power our dispenser. I definitely forgot about that part. And again, this will be a part of our chimney. So let's go ahead and try that again. So there's our off circuit that goes back to our fireplace block. And then we flip it. There we go. Our fireplace is on. And then our fireplace is off. And let's go ahead and decorate it. After you've decorated the fireplace, it should look a little something like this. So again, I do have the iron bars. We don't need them there. If you don't want them, we can have it working right there. Or, as you saw, we do have iron bars here, and then it will also work with the lever off to the side. So that is done, and again we have our wall. And as I mentioned, this one block right here will be a part of the chimney. So that is design number three, all finished. And there you have it everyone, three redstone fireplace designs for your world in Bedrock Edition. This is the end of our tutorial, I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.